Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. This is a video, a rather dubious video, about upgrading your electric mower batteries. You may not be able to see it, but the original mower battery is sadly lacking in capacity. It's about three years old now and it just doesn't have the beans anymore. So I thought I would supplement it by adding a second battery. I've got quite a lot of these lithium ion batteries kicking around and the one that I've got for this application is actually in quite good condition. While we're here let's have a look inside the device. Here we can see the current battery housing and then we've got a safety switch on this side of the unit which is quite a nice feature and then we can see the inside of the battery housing. Now the motor is actually quite pleasant on this, it's a pretty good sized motor, it's uh, certainly got some big windings in the coil, I guess it draws a few amps, a belt driven spindle and some blades, and then we have the heart of the system which is the power controller. So let's drill a hole in the top of it and let's stick one of my homebrew 3D printed battery connectors on it and then we'll solder the connections We'll stuff the battery on top of it and there's a couple of things here so you'll notice that there's a temperature connector for the original battery those were the yellow wires so that's a bit of a dubious concern in the sense that if you don't connect up the temperature sensor the system won't run we're definitely going to need the old battery to keep this system going it is charging to about half capacity and then we're going to add in parallel the newer ext battery which is a good sized little 18 volt lithium cell now obviously two batteries in parallel a little bit scary you need to make sure they're both charged to the same level otherwise one will dump power into the other but ultimately the mower works it sees the temperature sensor on the old battery and the new battery bolsters the power capacity of the old battery <laughs> anyway let's get that grass mown let's make everything look nice and tidy in the back garden it's starting to feel like spring again how wonderful is this i don't love the winters and it's been a bit of a long cold wet winter uh anyway yeah let's get that lawn mode and uh, uh make the wife happy when she comes home from work so here it comes let's plug in the original battery yeah thing's horrible i've got to be honest this mower is just rubbish in every respect uh but it does my tiny little back garden and certainly it'll do it a bit better now it's got a power bulge let's get this thing fired up This thing is just so weedy. I'd love a proper barrel mower, something that actually slices the grass like a pair of scissors, rather than one of these rotary mowers that just sort of mulches and rips the grass. But you know, it is what it is, beggars can't be choosers and this thing still works. Anyway, good news, we've got it fixed. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for watching a weird and wonderful video by Dubious Engineering. Take care, have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful week and weekend. I hope it's given you inspiration to fix your power tool products by stuffing power lumps on the top of them. And uh, we'll catch up in the next video. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Take care, bye for now.